Back, demon! Back, filth! I got double teamed by the spiders. I actually injured myself. Look at that. Nick Boy and welcome to a playback of Grounded, grounded by Obsidian Entertainment, a game that seems to be at least in some part inspired by the classic children's film Honey, I accidentally made the garden enormous and all the ants spiders. We're the same size, everything outside is just huge. It was lesser known, it was a less successful sequel. Gus is shaky with laughter off camera. I'm guessing it's because he saw something funny on his phone because he never pays attention to us when we do these. What's up, funny boy? It was really funny, oh, thank you. <laughs> They've done the classic, we're gonna use an outline of a character in the title of the game as like a cutout for part of the letters. And they've chosen the weirdest letter to do it on. Any other letter, even the E, which could be just a kid doing this is more appropriate than the N, which looks very off balance. Thankfully, this is still early access and so they have time to change it. Let's jump in. By the way, I'm using a huge stick here. Can we see this? The huge stick. It's very off-putting. So any poor gameplay, please, a tribute to tall stick. Hey, team selector. Okay, who do we like? That's what we want. Max, Willow, Pete, oh, Pete. Oh, Pete. Oh, Pete. You're gonna get so beaten up in this backyard. Look at you. Look how high those pants are. Hoops! Definitely hoops. I don't know why she's called hoops, but hoops. Great kicks on hoops. Hoops here. Ready to mix it up? <laughs> Release me. <laughs> wow, this game got dark already. Uh, fair warning. When I first saw the trailer for this game, I believe the exact words that came out of my mouth was, oh, this looks dumb. But other people said they apparently enjoy it. It's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah. Well, that's why we're doing this, I guess. We'll just find out what happens. What do I think? Let's find out. Okay, game plan. Figure out where I am, find out what happened, then knock it down hoop style. What the fuck is that? Look at that, look at them. Is that, is that ray tracing? Is that famous ray tracing? It's not, that's not ray tracing. It's just light, Nick. So the backpack shrunk down as well. I mean, do we know that these kids were shrunk down? She seemed confused. They weren't born with the dung beetles, right? Oh, but there's a really cute little tent. And all the science equipment has been shrunk down. I wonder if this all got shrunk in one big thing or if there was a mad scientist who has to shrink every individual piece of equipment and then little tweezers. Go set it up. I mean, the patience of this psychopath is commendable. I'm guessing this isn't the only one of these science pods. I should keep searching and see what else I can turn up. Select a valid resource for analysis. Hoops, you're carrying nothing. I mean, all this stuff is glowing. Can I just, ooh, a pebblet. Let's analyze this pebblet. Look at the size of it. That's not even a pebble. That's a pebblet. Imagine how friggin' big a pebble is for this kid. New recipes deciphered, Peblet Axe. So she looks at a very small rock and somehow just by looking at it is like, I know how to turn this into an axe. So I'm just gonna start picking up everything because this is one of those games. Uh, I'll get these little springs. Can I, I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna throw this, the beetle! Ants! Ah! Not even angered them. No, I've angered them. Big time, big time. Do ants kill? Ah! Oh God, I'm thinking about all the times where I step on ants and I just don't care anymore. And now I think, no, you should have. Oh, Hoops got fucked up. Oh my God, she did a backflip. I mean, if you're gonna die, die cool, Hoops. Respawn or swap team. <laughs> They're that disposable. We just keep making more of them. You're dead to me, Hoops, quite literally. Uh, Pete, you're in. While I'm learning the ropes of the game, and by ropes of the game, I mean when I'm most likely to die by spiders and ants. Pete, you're the sacrificial lamb. Oh, okay, backpack, so I'm guessing that's where hoops passed. You did it! Oh, okay, so I just saw the health bar of this worker ant. It is huge. Respawn. So I'm guessing what I wanna do now is collect as many things as possible so I can make an ax and kill some ants. I like the idea that most games are like a power trip in some way. And it's like, 
to do all the things that you can't do in real life. Whereas this is the opposite. It's like, you know how you kill probably a hundred ants every day without realizing? Now one ant is gonna mess you up. Look at the size of that thing. Investigate the mysterious machine, all right. Is this the mysterious machine? What is this? Oh, is it a Walkman? Is it a Walkman? What if I step on this? What if I hit this button? Uh, find and eat some food, find water, unblock the obstructed laser, find whatever is weakening one of the lasers. Okay, are these my lasers? So that one's working great. Primo laser. This one, faltering a little bit, probably needs some more juice. Uh, okay, so I need to find and eat some uh, food and water and I need to chop down this leaf. Have I got enough things to craft a thing? Okay, I've got enough sprig. I need two pebblets and woven fiber, which I'm guessing I make from some of the things that I've been collecting, like maybe this, maybe plant fiber. Hey, look at this, look at this. I'm not just an ugly face. Pete, not me. Oh, mushrooms. You picked up a mushroom. You can eat consumable items via the inventory menu. Okay, this is what you wanted me to do, game. Consume. Better than starving, I think. Oh, Pete, I wish you were dead. Again. Oh, rock, okay, I needed two pebbles, two peblets. Peblet, peblet, peblet. I think I probably have enough stuff. Hey, 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 hey. Do they remember? Do they know what happened? Do the ants talk? Maybe ants talk. You. Get away from it. Sick of this. Uh, I scanned the peblet and it told me how to make an axe. So I probably need to scan everything, I guess, including the fiber to figure out how to make fiber. Woven fiber. There you go. I'm a child genius. Okay, so now I've scanned that. I can make woven fiber, which means I can craft an ax, which means I can equip an axe, which means I can cut that, that leaf down and free that laser. Imagine how much easier this game would be if you were just a normal sized human. Yes. Ah, oh, the only terrible part about this is Pete is the one accomplishing this. Poor hoops. So I figured out, I need to find water. I figured out food though. Uh, I need to find out what's weakening this laser, so I'm guessing I need to go into the innards. Okay, so what do we got? We got a purple, we got a purple, we got a purple coming through. We got a... Oh! My goodness! Well, I'm sure this isn't good for the laser. There are so many of them. I think maybe just... One of these. Okay, well everything here seems to be in working order. If I follow that, maybe it's a problem up there. I'm guessing the axe has a durability. Yes, it does seem to be that. Thankfully, this axe has not taken too much damage from chopping grass. So we're in a pretty good state at the moment. Grass plank. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So we've got some sort of uh, like backyard surfboard situation going on. Pete suddenly got a little cooler, didn't he? Oh, cute. The water, you can get rid of this. Uh, the water is on the leaf. That's very clever. Now, if I chop this down, in my head, the water just splashes onto the ground. So what I need to do is, let me check the menu. I need to construct some sort of giant straw. No giant straw. What happens if I chop this down? Is that how water works? This is the most unrealistic part of this game. Uh, I'll slurp it up though. The water filtration tablet's needed. What, what are you doing? Are you messing up with the laser? Ah, oh, you are. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that mite. Get out of it. I'm guessing I need to get all these. God, there's so many. There's so many. Oh my God. I hate the combat so much. Uh, okay, Pete, you served your purpose. Willow, you're up. You need to find Pete's backpack because it was filled with goodies. There's the bag. Uh, take all. Where is Pete's dead body? There we go. You. See, Willow's hardcore. She just punched it to death. So is that everything? Oh no, wait, this, ooh, oh, underground. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried about the dark. 
I could build a torch, or I could, like, Willow's, Willow's pretty hardcore. She, she punches things to death, so she's just gonna wander. Okay, just follow the flashing, terrifying noises. Oh my god, this is messed up. Good, good. Yes. Okay, it's kind of cool down here. I think we did it. Build a lean-to, investigate the mysterious machine further. Right, so we want to go back to our little Walkman looking thing. Because I fixed the power to the laser thing. Figured out how to drink, figured out how to eat, killed Pete. The only four things I needed to do. Okay, this is all working. This is all great. Activate. All right. Ooh. She survived? My god. Maybe she has superpowers now. Okay, so we've survived somehow. Mass electrocution. Uh, investigate the explosion of the oak tree. Build a lean-to. I'm gonna build a house. Okay, it's getting dark. I'm not happy about the dark because I don't know how to make a torch. Uh, Will is getting hungry. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I'll just take these little ones. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, food for days. Gonna have ourselves a little mushroom party. Oh, look at this. We've got some sort of lake situation going on. Oh, how nice is this? I could build a lake house. This is where I'll build my lean-to. This is where I'll start my family. Once I hit an appropriate age. You can remember what game you're playing. Jesus. Build a lean-to. Now, technically, it's in the name. I need to lean it onto something. How do I build a lean-to? Craft. Lean-to. Yes. <laughs> that was some horror movie shit. What was that? What was that? I counted at least five legs. She was so young. She'd managed to purchase some land. She was thinking about starting a family in a few years time. She was a career woman. She wanted to focus on the science first. And then she was cut down in the prime of life. All right, but thankfully she has the power of respawning technology, so it's not too bad. Uh, but we do need to travel 364 centimeters to get to our backpack. Okay, so I need to get my backpack back, but there's obviously enormous friggin' spiders over there. So I should probably craft some sort of weapon. So I'm ready. Ax, hammer, spear. Arrow, spiky sprig. Now, I reckon, how many legs do spiders have? Like, it's more than two. How many legs do I have to lop off something that has like eight legs before it stops being, like if I'm on four legs, and I chop off one thing. Okay, so I need to chop off at least half. I actually injured myself. I actually, look at this, look at this. Uh, Pete, can we get a close up on my boo-boo? Look at that. It's oh and right there. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash back pocket. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, look at its eyes. Okay. Get it back! Back, demons! Back, filth! There's two of them! I got double teamed by the spiders! Willow was ripped apart by an orb weaver. <laughs> by the way, I love that the options are respawn, swap team, already hilarious. Load, fine, whatever, every video game. Quit, yeah, we see that all the time. Super quit. You know what? After that, yes, super quit. Okay, so that is grounded. Uh, I, I, I love the idea of this. And when I initially said, when I saw it, this is dumb, I take that back because I think that survival sims aren't necessarily my favorite genre. Part of that is because I just feel like you're always out in the same world, just collecting 
planks of wood and doing the same sort of thing. Here, while a lot of those gameplay tropes are still there, the idea that you're in this completely original space. There's a huge amount of potential for what this game can do. I think this game will shine if it comes to full release with a ton of creativity when it comes to the idea of exploring a backyard as someone really small. And I think that's that's really fun. The cool thing about it as well is that despite the fact that it's sort of cutesy like that, it's friggin' hard. Got one hit by a spider. Even those ants, if I don't have an ax, those ants are a nightmare. So there is, you know, a cool, charming kid look to it, but it, it you know, the gameplay is, is pretty is pretty difficult. Seems like there's a, a lot of that collecting materials and building things. And for me, when I when I play these games, they shine after 10 hours. Like you kind of need to have built a bunch of stuff that then makes your game easier because you have all these different things that you can now use in the game to accomplish the same task. You have better army, you have better weapons, you have better ways of building and collecting and storing. At the beginning, it's very much like, pick up this pebble, go scan this thing, do this and that, you know, that's kind of a bit tedious, but that just kind of comes with the genre, I suppose. We obviously fix those lasers. There's a bit of a narrative going on in this as well, so it's not just like this open world survival thing. Uh, it'll be cool if that narrative pulls you through a lot of that tedium so that by the time you reach the end of the story, then what you've got is a, a pretty good set of gear and housing and weapons and that sort of stuff. And you don't realize that, oh, I actually accomplished all this over the course because you were distracted by the fact that, you know, this cool story is happening about, I assume catching the maniac who shrunk you down? None of you seem particularly happy about this. Like, you're all like, I used to be big and now I'm not. Like, where are your parents? What are your parents thinking right now? When you're small, does time move slower? Like, is all of this, well, I don't think so because it went to nighttime when I was playing. So at this point, if I'm me and Banjo has disappeared, by nighttime, I'm generally like, hang on a second, uh, it's been seven hours since I've seen my three-year-old. Where is he? What's he? What's going on with him? Uh, like, there's neighborhood watches out there. They've probably called the cops. There's like uh, milk cartons with with babies' faces on them all the time. Friggin' Pete's wandering around, just sexing up ants. I assume that's part of the DLC that's coming out because it just seems like a Pete kind of thing to do. Willow, though, Willow's on track. Willow's a hard ass. She's out there punching dust mites to death. Uh, so that's what your kids are doing when you're not keeping an eye on them. Uh, I've kind of I've kind of run this weird course on this one where I don't know where I'm headed. Uh, so I feel like what I should end with is, do you have kids and you don't know what they're doing? Well, help us find your kids by subscribing to the Patreon. You can subscribe at any tier. Uh, at no tier do we guarantee that we will find your kids, but at the $250 tier, I guarantee we'll at least tell you we looked. So that is Grounded. Follow us on YouTube, follow us on Twitch, follow us on all the places you can follow us except for in person. Until next time, Nick Way out.